Hello everyone, my paper presentation topic is various presentation of meningioma under the guidance of Yogendra Sajdev sir, professor and head of department of radio diagnosis, Pravara Rural Hospital, Loni. I, Dr. Dheeraj Ganeshgiri present this paper. Meningiomas are the most common non-glial tumor of the CNS central nervous system, there are a number of characteristics imaging features of meningiomas on magnetic resonance imaging that is on MRI that allow an accurate diagnosis. However, there are a number of atypical features that may be diagnostically challenging. Furthermore, a number of other non-neoplastic and neoplastic conditions that may mimic meningiomas. The, this pictorial review discusses the typical and atypical features of a meningiomas on MRI and their mimics. Meningiomas are the most common non-glial tumors of the central nervous system accounting for between the 16 to 20 percent of intracranial tumors. Magnetic resonance imaging is the modality of choice for the investigation of meningiomas providing superior contrast differentiation and usually the ability of differentiation between intra and extracranial lesions. In addition to MRI, computer tomography that is CT has a useful role in a specific uh, cases where there is a calcification and adjacent changes to the calvarium. Although a typical meningiomas have characteristics imaging features, there are multiple atypical variants that may be diagnostically challenging and, and the value of MRI is predicting WHO grades in meningiomas is limited. A number of benign and malignant pathologies may also mimic some of the features of meningioma. It is important for the radiologist to have an under, understanding of the typical and atypical features of meningioma to aid their recognition and suggestion of a correct diagnosis. The typical and atypical imaging features of meningioma is discussed. Meningiomas may be found along any of the external surfaces of the brain as well as within the ventricular system where they arise from the stromal arachnoid cells of the choroid plexus. The most common location include a parasagital uh, aspect of the cere cerebral convexity, the lateral hemisphere convexity, the spinoid wing, middle cranial fossa and the olfactory groove. Meningiomas at the skull base uh, may extend through foramina, for example, into the orbit and along the course of the trigeminal nerve. Meningioma represent the second most common mass lesion of the cerebellopontine angle secondary to the acoustic shamanoma. Less common location include the optic nerve sheath 0.4 to 1.3% of cases, the choroid plexus uh, 0.5 to 3 percent of cases most commonly in the trigon of the lateral ventricle in adults and the cellular sica. Approximately 10 percent of the meningiomas arise in the spine very rarely represent, representing approximately 1 percent of cases they may arise entirely outside the dura and may be purely extra calvarial, calvarial and uh, calvarial with extra calvarial extension with sites including the temporal bone, mandible, mediastinum and the lung described. The etiology of this ectopic location is thought to be due to a meningocytes or arachnoid capsules trapped in the cranial sutures during remolding of the brain at birth as a result of trauma or as a result of meningoepithelial differentiation from multipotential mesenchymal cell precursors aims and objective. To evaluate the patients for the presence of meningioma in a patient's refers to the department of radio diagnosis with the neurological symptoms. Inclusion criteria. Patients giving consent for study. Patients refers to radiology department with symptoms of headache, anosmia, giddiness, difficulty in vision, uh, vision and blurring of vision. Extrusion criteria. Patients not giving consent for study Patients with contraindication for MRI such as uh, claustrophobia, metallic implants, aneurysm, clip, pacemakers, prosthetic heart walls. Materials and methods. Cross-sectional study was performed. 12 patients were studied. Assessment of the patient. 
uh, were done by using a three Tesla Philips Ingenia illusion. Imaging features of meningioma. Meningioma typically appear as a lobular extraaxial mass with well differentiated margins. They typically have a broad base dural attachment and if sufficiently large cause a inward displacement of cortical gray matter. They may occasionally however exhibit a more infiltrating growth pattern over the dura commonly occur along the spinoid ridge or the convexity. The typical MRI signal intensity characteristics consist of iso intensity to slight hypo intensity relative to gray white matter on the T1 weighted sequence and iso intensity to slight hyper intensity relative to gray white matter on T2 sequence. After contrast administration, meningiomas typically demonstrate avid homogeneous enhancement. However, they may occasionally have areas of central necrosis or calcification that do not enhance. Calcification is typically best demonstrated on CT with variable reported rates of occurrence on MRI. Calcification is best identified on susceptibility weighted images as areas of low signal intensity. However, calcification may also be appreciated on T2 weighted sequences as areas of low signal intensity. Contrast is specially useful in delineating n plaque meningiomas that are typically seen as asymmetric thickened sheets of enhancing dura. Various locations of meningiomas. Most common location is a supratentorial. 85 to 90% occurs in a supratentorial region. Para, uh, in uh, parasitical convexity is 45%. The, the symptoms is seizures and hemiparesis. Spinoid reach 15 to 20%. Olfactory grew or platinum spinoidal 10%. The symptoms is anosmia usually not recognized. Foster Kennedy syndrome. Next is juxtacellar 5 to 10%. In this visual field defects or cranial nerve deficits are seen. So, uh, second most common is infratentorial. It occurs in 5 to 10% of cases. Obstructive, it causes the obstructive hydrocephalus or cranial nerve deficits. Third is miscellaneous, that is intradural less than 5%. Intraventricular meningioma or optic nerve meningioma. Various signs in meningioma. CSF cleft sign, which is not a specific for meningioma but helps to establish the mass to be extraaxial. Loss of this can be seen in a grade 2 and grade 3, which may suggest brain parenchyma invasion. Second is dural tail sign is seen in 60 to 72%. Not that the dural tail is also seen in other processes. Sunburst or spoke wheel sign, uh, appearance of the vessels, white matter buckling sign, arterial narrowing, typically seen in meningioma, which encases the arteries. Useful sign. In paracellular tumors, in, in distinguishing a meningioma from a pituitary macroadenoma, the latter typically does not narrow vessels. Now we see the images. This is a spoke wheel sign, then the cleft sign, dural sign, then white matter buckling sign, MR spectroscopy. The findings in the MR spectroscopy in uh, meningioma cases increase in alanine, increase glutamine, glutamate, increase choline, absent or significantly reduce N acetyl uh, aspartate, non neuronal origin, absent or significantly reduce creatine. In certain circumstances, the presence of a dural tail may be useful to distinguish meningiomas from other potential etiologies. For example, in distinguishing uh, meningioma from schwannoma in the cerebellopontine angle as the latter is not typically associated with the dural tail. Although common with meningioma, the dural tail sign is not specific as it is also described in some metastases, metastases glial tumors and lymphoma. Another important imaging feature suggestive of an extraaxial location is the presence of a CSF cleft between the tumor and the underlying brain cortex, the cleft may contain CSF or the cortical vessel entrapped between the tumor and the underlying cortex. Bony changes associated with the meningiomas. 
bone changes associated with the meningiomas include a osteolysis or hyperostosis with the latter most common described in 20% of cases and most common with the end plaque form there may also be an enlargement of the skull base foramenon uh, the bone changes associated with the meningiomas are the best depicted and assessed on ct however they may be appreciated on mri hyperostosis is most common in tumors arising from the skull base and the anterior cranial fossa and the degree of hyperostosis is not proportional to the tumor size the pathological causes described include a direct tumor invasion of the bone and reactive hypervascularity of the periosteum leading to benign bone formation it may difficult to distinguish a radiologically uh, between the hyperostosis associated with an end plaque meningioma and primary intraosseous meningioma that is uh, osteoblastic reported in 59% of cases particularly given that the latter may be associated with underlying dural enhancement homogeneous dense enhancement of the tumor within the skull may help distinguish a primary intraosseous meningioma from a meningioma and plaque meningioma is located at the skull base by virtue of their position have the potential to contact and encase vessels particularly the carotid arteries supracellular meningioma with involvement of clinoid portion of ica left tentorium meningioma seen in this then meningia meningioma in cleft hyperatal region right cp angle meningioma meningioma extends to the to involves fifth sixth seventh eighth ninth cranial nerves on right side it involves right vertebral artery and basilar artery in this images of mri we see right cp angle meningioma now on conclusion meningiomas are the commonest extra axial tumor of the cns that can have a varied appearance on imaging there are a number of typical and atypical mri features of meningiomas that are described and it is important for the reporting radiologists to have a broad understanding of their variable potential appearance in order to differentiate the lesions from the numerous lesions that can mimic their appearance bibliography thank you